Hey guys, welcome back to the Wall Street Bull. Check this bad boy out. <laughs> this is the new bull ring in my collection of AJT jewelry. Check it out on the website, guys, ajtofficial.com. All right, guys, so let's get into the channel. Got my morning coffee. Let's go. So good morning to everyone. It's uh, nearly 10 o'clock in the morning here in Melbourne. Oh, that's good. Um, so um, the other day made some purchases um, and added to my dividend portfolio. Currently sitting at $4,477.11 USD. It's a good day. The market finished up pretty good today. Um, I'm up $42.56 on the day, 0.98%, and $18.40 uh, in total. That's awesome. All right, so a couple of things. Um, obviously, I uh, deposited um, 250 Australian dollars the other day, which converted to about 165 um, USD. Um, so something interesting, obviously, I've been reading a heaps on the the Gap stock, um, obviously, with Kanye West um, doing a collaboration now with Gap, um, which is awesome. Um, obviously, Gap over the years here in Australia hasn't been doing too well, and I haven't seen many people wearing it. But with uh, Kanye coming on board and with his Yeezy brand, it's going to be huge. He, this, this guy's just... A gold mine in terms of business and and generating, you know, revenue and just selling out of all of his products, which is awesome to see. So I had to invest in that company. Um, the stock price is very very well priced at the moment, and he did sign a ten year deal with Gap. Um, so I think this stock price, the ticker symbol is GPS. Um, it finished up today at $12.62. Now, I got in at around the $12 mark, um, which is awesome. They're not paying a dividend, but I wanted to take a, a, a holding in this company because I think it's just going to explode with him, um, Kanye, coming on board. So, guys, check it out. Ticker symbol GPS. I think you guys should maybe get a share or two whilst, you know, the the... Price is reasonable. Twelve dollars and sixty-two cents is awesome. It's cheap. Get in now because when the he uh, when obviously Kanye launches his range and his products, it's going to explode. There's just no doubt about it. And given the ten-year contract with Gap, I think it's going to be an awesome investment just to have and hold into your portfolio and see how it goes. Who knows? It may go bad. It may go good. We don't know. But um, I think it's good regardless. Everyone should try it out. It's cheap, just hold it, why not? All right, guys, so I'm gonna get into my portfolio and my purchases this week. Um, now, I understand it is the 4th of July this week in America, so the markets will be closed for a few days. That's cool, so I bid my purchases on, I think it was Tuesday. Let me just check that. I'll have a look. Here we go, 29th of June, yes. That's Monday. There you go. <laughs> All right, guys, so I will get into the companies that I purchased this week and the amounts based on that 165 USD, also reinvesting dividends that were paid out this uh, last week as well. Okay, so first company that um, I invested in, again, um, ExxonMobil, ticker symbol XOM. Um, these guys have been really good. Their purchase price was has been quite low over this these last couple of months. Awesome quarterly dividend payer. Now um, I invested um, eighteen Australian or eighteen sorry US dollars into Exxon Mobil, um, which got me 0 0.40 shares. Now my holding in the current uh, in the company at the moment is currently sitting at. Let's have a look. My computer is having a moment. Okay, so I've got now six shares of ExxonMobil um, valued at 268.5 USD, which is awesome. It's taken time to build up, but I'm seeing a good dividend being paid every quarter from ExxonMobil, which is awesome, which is what we want. 
Um, so that's ExxonMobil. So the next one um, that I purchased on Monday. So the next one I purchased, Kellogg's, ticker symbol K. If you don't know who Kellogg's are, you're living under a rock. These guys make some of the best um, breakfast cereal there is going around ever. Love the company. I've had my eye on this company for a while. Um, their dividend yield is at 3.5%, which is really good. It's not too high. And the earnings per share is 2.99. This is a great company. I don't think that's going to be affected by the current situation um, where the whole world is in at the moment because it is a consumer staple and everybody loves to eat cereal. I love cereal. <laughs> Um, and um, yeah, so I think it's a really good company and it should be very secure over the, you know, for many, many years to come. So it's a great company, I believe, to hold in your diversified portfolio. Um, so I actually purchased um, $18 um, of Kellogg's, which got me 0 0.27 fractions of a share. So this is, I'm going to start putting more money into Kellogg's and consumer staples like this because I just think it's going to be secure. Um, because people love cereal and they love, you know, they need to eat. <laughs> so great investment to have in your portfolio. So I'll keep investing in Kellogg's. All right, so the next one. Vanguard, S&P 500 index fund, ticker symbol VOO. Now, if you're like me, I like to spread and diversify my investment and you have what better way to do it with a Vanguard in, um, um, index fund. I mean, you're gonna be spreading your investment across the top 500 companies in the US, which you can't complain about that. And the the returns over the last three years have been going up regardless. So as you can just see on the charts, it just goes like this. Now, if I show you, I can't even show you guys, but anyway, so if I look at it now, you know, from 2018 all the way up till now, it's just gone on like this. So your investment's gonna be growing as you, as you reinvest. So I think ticker symbol VOO, if you want to spread your investment across the all of the five top 500 companies, Vanguard S&P 500 is a good one. Now this one I purchased um, $13.14 um, in the VOO. Um, the price is very high for a share in this company, uh, 277 um, USD, which is like, how can I work that out? nearly $400 Australian, it's a lot of money. So I've just been building that and adding to it as I go. Once you know I deposit say $160, um, I will you know, pick six or seven shares that I want to invest in and I'll split that $160 up. Um, so VOO, great company. Vanguard has been around for hundreds of years. So I think it's pretty secure. All right guys, so the next one I invested in is Philip Morris, ticker, sim, ticker symbol PM, um, cigarette company. So I know a lot of people don't like investing in cigarette companies, but they pay an awesome dividend. Um, don't smoke. <laughs> um, so I currently hold 2.38 shares in Philip Morris. Now, uh, the other day I purchased $18 um, into, a, into a share in this company, which purchased me 0.25 fractions of a share into Philip Morris. Their share price is steady around 69 to 70 USD. Um, so I've managed to build that up and now own 2.38 um, shares in Philip Morris. They have an awesome dividend yield of 6.64%, which is really high, but they've also got, you know, turnaround earnings per share 4.91. So these guys are, you know, a great, quarterly dividend payer. They pay 6.64%, which is huge. This is awesome. I think you guys should have this company in your portfolio. Um, if you're interested in investing in Philip Morris cigarettes, <laughs> you don't have to, but I do um, because they pay an awesome quarterly dividend. Um, just again, diversifying the portfolio and obviously being a, a consumer staple. So people buy this stuff on a regular basis. Um, you know, it's going to be around for a long time. So I've just bought into this company and I'm going to hold it for a long time. All right, guys. So the next one is TLT, ticker symbol TLT. These, um, it's iShares. So these are 20 plus year treasury bonds ETF. So exchange, exchange traded funds. 
Um, so it's always good to have, again, a diversified portfolio. Then I've started um, investing in bond, the bonds. Um, now, I've been watching a lot of interviews uh, with um, Tony Robbins, um, who's obviously gone and interviewed people like Ray Dalio and or Warren Buffett and all of these people um, who have basically set up an all-weather fund and in those all-weather funds they have bonds um, so TLT this one's a new one for me um, it's a new one obviously it's got a very low dividend yield at 1.78 percent which has got a lot of room for growth um, but just wanted to include some bonds into my portfolio so this one um, it tracks the investment result of the index composed of United States Treasury bonds with remaining maturities greater than 20 years so Good to have something like this in your portfolio. I think it's good to have bonds in there um, and split up against commodities. You know, then you've got your stocks um, and then um, your gold and oil and so forth. So it's, at least you're tracking that aspect of it. Um, so you've got an all weather set up, which I'm trying to do at the moment, but um, you've just got to, it takes time and you need to split it up. So, all right, so that is TLT. Now I purchased 20 USD into TLT, which got me 0 0.12 um, fractions of a share. Um, so share price in this in these bonds is 164 USD. So it'll take some time to build up that one stock or one share in that company. But um, yeah, we'll just keep investing in the bond market um, and building up through the commodities and the stocks. So at least you've got everything spread and covered for yourself. All right, guys, next one. New company for me, Amcor, the ticker symbol AMCR, that is Amcor PLC. These guys are a packaging company, so they make all the packaging for your cereals, your coffee, your drinks, um, your boxes that you see for biscuits and stuff on the shelves in the supermarkets. Um, these guys are worldwide, huge, huge company. Um, I had my eye on this for a while. Um, they're dividend yield is that currently sitting at 4.62 percent which is good um, earnings per share is 0.64 so these guys are an awesome company people are going to need packaging things are going to need packaging um, regardless of what's happening in the world so i think these guys are a pretty steady company and have been around for a long time and have got a long long history for growth as well i mean people people need food so things are going to need to be packaged up so this Alongside, you know, things like um, uh, freight, online shipping, you know, like UPS and FedEx and so forth. I mean, these these things are going to be around for a long time and, and are going to grow over time. So good company, been around for a while, is profitable and has a great dividend yield and is a quarterly payer as well. So Amcor, ticker symbol AMCR. And this week I purchased $10.43, which got me one 0.06 shares in the company, which the stock price is actually really reasonable um, um, at $9.78. So you can grab a share in this or a couple of shares and it'd be good just to hold that into your portfolio as well. Um, so ticker symbol AMCR Amcor. All right, guys, the next one, my favorite, PSEC, ticker symbol PSEC, Prospect Capital. Um, these guys have been awesome monthly dividend payout for me they are a risky stock they are a tech they invest into tech companies um, um, so i've currently got 81.74 shares of psec um, yes they it's a cheap investment at about a four dollars and 84 cents a share into prospect capital finished today though at five dollars and eleven um, so I, as i said i've got 81 shares in this company and they pay an awesome dividend at 14.20 percent their earnings per share, though, at negative 0.38. It's really risky, but they have been paying their dividend every month, and I've been collecting that and reinvesting those dividends, which everyone should do. All right, guys, so I invested 10 bucks, $10. We say 10 bucks here in Australia, so 10 bucks. <laughs> uh, 1.98 shares, so almost two shares into Prospect Capital. Um, great company. I'll keep investing in these guys. I'm probably going to cap out if I get to it about 200 shares and I'll just cap out of that and we'll see how it goes, if not, probably less. Um, and if it goes really bad, I'll just sell out or just hold it. I'm not sure what I'll do with it yet, but um, it has been an awesome dividend 
a monthly dividend payer. All right, guys, so O Realty, ticker symbol O, everyone's favorite monthly payer again. Um, now, after investing this week $18 um, into the company, I got 0 0.30 fractions of a share. Effective price was $59.07. Now my portfolio has gone up to 12.42 shares of O Realty, which is awesome. It's taken time to build this up. Realty income, it's a REIT, it's a, it's a real estate investment. They've got a lot of commercial tenancies. Um, given the current situation going on at the moment in the world, I'm not entirely sure how it's gonna go. Um, they do have a really great dividend yield of 4.71%, which is really good. Um, and earnings per share is 1.45. Look, I think, I don't know what is gonna happen with all this, the world and the economy at the moment, everyone's all over the place, but I think if they've got good solid um, commercial tenancies around uh, the United States, I think people um, will continue to invest in realty income and these people will still continue to pay their rent, but we don't know. Um, so as being a long-term dividend investor, I'll just keep investing into O Realty as best as I can and we'll see how it goes. Got to monitor that as well, but a dividend yield is quite low. And if it starts to get really high, then I'll start to be looking to either stay or move, but we'll see how we go. So yeah, I've got 12 shares in O Realty at the moment. All good. Next one. Gap, ticker symbol GPS. This one I wanted to just grab onto uh, whilst the share price is a bargain at uh, $12 a share, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Um, Gap just did a um, collaboration, signed a collaboration on the weekend last week um, for a 10 year deal with Yeezy. And as everyone knows, these Yeezy sneakers, I don't wear them personally, I wear boots. <laughs> um, Yeezy sneakers sell out everywhere. So I've got 1.98 shares in Gap. And I think the price of these shares will go through the roof when Yeezy and Gap start manufacturing and distributing their clothing all around the world. I think it's just gonna explode. So keep an eye on GP, ticker symbol GPS, Gap. Gap, um, I think it's gonna be really well in the future. I've got positive vibes about it. We'll see how it goes though. All right, guys, next one. Sorry about that, that is it. So they're the stocks that I purchased uh, on Monday this week. And as of the 30th of June, um, two days ago, I was paid dividends by SCHD, which is great. I was paid, that's an index fund. I was paid nine cents and SJR dividend of five cents. So that's my portfolio at the moment. Um, it's currently sitting at $4,477.11. And I'll throw up a, a, um, a screenshot of that um, in a moment so you guys can see that. And I'll um, put up that so you guys can see. All right, guys. So if you like the video, um, please make sure you like the video um, and subscribe to the channel because I'll be putting up more videos as I go through the dividend investing um, journey and sharing it with you guys because I think everyone should invest into the stock market, at least be in the market rather than being out of the market and don't time it either, just get in now and if you're in Australia, use the app Stake and you can sign up using the link um, below um, and if you're in the US, use Robin, Robin Hood, sorry or M1 Finance or Weeble, whatever so long as you're in the market and a lot of uh, apps these days don't have brokerage fees which is awesome so you guys can get in the market with as little as like a dollar or 50 not 50 cents but a dollar or 10 bucks or 100 bucks whatever you've got um, and then hold on to these things for, for life so you guys can have a future for yourselves and uh, build some wealth um, which is hard in these times but you guys can do it all right guys so stay positive and thanks for sticking around for the wall street ball take care guys peace cheers